Hello everyone, how are you? In today's video I'm going to present for you about selective breeding. So let's start with defining what does it mean breeding. Breeding is the natural process of two species or the natural process of two species mating to bear more plants or more animals. So here uh, the other just, uh, term is selective breeding. Selective breeding is an artificial process in which uh, just we intervene and choose organism to mate just basically by taking the best plant or animal we have in the population in, in the just hope of getting better next time so breeding is very important in agriculture in rearing animal in cultivating crops so basically by using this um what you call selective breeding we'll have a good future just we need in plants or in animals so uh, the main benefits that we get from this selective breeding can be you know like like uh, getting plenty of milk many eggs uh, producing animals that make a lot of muscle to provide meat and the ability to survive drought and resist uh, diseases these are the benefits of uh, selective breeding now breeding is not a new idea our farmers have been using this uh, for many years before they understand how the mechanism of inheritance works or genetic works so in our country in our country for example uh, we have uh, different types of uh, just cattle mm, we have 25 types of cattle just we have uh, just five types of different chickens uh, two types of camels and 15 types of goat and again five types of sheep and we have a lot of different varieties of uh, animal and plants because of you know uh, as a result of selective breeding selective breeding and again as you see here there is a mess and this man is just through time it grows uh, like this like this because of selective breeding selective breeding so let's see one by one how it works so in order to see uh, we have to talk about cross breeding or the combination of treat cross breeding is the breeding of um, two different uh, species or two different um, treats just um, in order to by expecting uh, best best retreat out of two different breeder or breeds so here as an example there is um, cattle which uh, just uh, uh, resist drought but they produce uh, less amount of milk and there is uh, uh, another cattle another group of cattle which give a lot of milk but less resistance in drought so by crossing two and allowing the cross in two and just and we'll have the first generation we may not get the you know what we need in first generation so we have to you know cross the first generation the best first generation within the best first generation and again again and again within a few years or times as goes we will just have uh, a good character that we want that's just through time through time so the other example you can see here uh there is um fruits these uh, fruits are different kinds of fruits so by selecting the first generation fruit which give more uh, fruit and uh, yield so then breeding these two and we'll have the second generation the second generation will have uh, good um, of two breed breeds so again we'll we have to breed uh, again and again and finally we will just uh, have uh, this uh, with a lot of uh, fruit with an increase in size in number so to give the high yield so this is the second example the other one is you know one of the amazing thing here in selective breeding is uh, the watermelon as you see watermelon before 400 years it look like this but nowadays uh to look like this to look like this because of selective breeding because of selective breeding so all in all uh, when we summarize breeding is a natural process of mm, mating between two species whereas selective breeding is the artificial process where we just intervene and select the best organism and mate to mate them so farmer farm animals 
and plants are the result of uh, selective breeding and the other one is uh, just as a way of getting a desirable character is crossbreeding between two different breeds and we, this gives you does a combination of traits from dif uh, from different uh, breeds so the best of the two can be used to develop a new breed so the last one here is uh, there is some question just try to do uh, this question in a uh, again, there is a short video that you may just uh, see because this may help you to understand what is mean selective breeding and uh, I take it from National Geography and it's one of the best uh, video uh, across the selective breeding. So uh, just keep watching.